Hello, hello guys. Good morning. This is Victoria B. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad to have you here with me. I hope you're having a good morning or where, wherever you are in the country, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening. Okay. Hope you're in good spirits. I hope you're feeling positive. I hope everything's going well for you. Guys, um, I got a message that is kind of it's not good, okay, but someone needs to hear this. Um, I had asked, who is this reading for, and I got Sagittarius. Okay, so this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so this is your reading. Um, Sagittarius, listen, I got a message from Spirit. I just wrote it down on a card. Um, it says, someone is jumping bodies to people you know to trigger you into an argument so you can get into a verbal or physical altercation with them, possibly maybe get in trouble or something like that. Um, the people that these people are projecting to, they're jumping bodies to get to you. It could be anybody, okay? It could be people. It's people you don't have an issue with it could be a friend a family member anybody even a person a, even a clerk at the grocery store anywhere um they're telling you spirit is saying um don't react don't engage with the person don't say nothing just walk off okay just don't say anything because it's not them doing it it's um it's not that uh, i'm gonna give you an example of, of this okay Let's say um, you go to the grocery store, okay? And you see a childhood friend in there, an old childhood friend. And you normally converse with them, and they're friendly. But you look up, and you see the person staring at you. They don't talk to you. Um, this is somebody you don't know that well, but you don't have a problem with them. And maybe while you're in the grocery store, this is, this is an example. You could have gotten chest pains or got a very bad, eerie feeling from this person when you normally don't and you know you don't have issues with them. Something like that, okay? So just be careful of that. Um, if, this, some, if it's somebody you normally, that you have a good relationship with and you get, it, you get that type of vibe, you even feel attacked by them, it's these people doing this, okay? Um... I got the Seven of Swords to verify this card. See this person here? This is somebody trying to do something sneaky and get away with it. All right, somebody is jumping bodies to get to you, to get to the people around you so you will be attacked. Okay? Or so you will lose your temper and make a fool of yourself or whatever. So you could even get into a physical or a verbal altercation with them. This person on this card, on the seven of, seven of Swords card, is like, come on, the way she's looking, she's looking like, come on, you want a piece of me? <laughs> they're, they're taking that energy and projecting it onto people around you, okay? So just remember that. Don't react to any of this. this is, if, if this reading is resonating with you, okay? I see somebody in the background here too. There's someone in the background of this person. So it's two people doing this. All right. Whoever this is, they're having murderous thoughts about you. Okay. I don't know what that's about, why they're mad at you or something. They're having murderous thoughts. They're trying to get you any way they can. I just did a reading for you guys about uh, somebody doing some type of jar spells now they're doing this okay and I asked this I said can you give me the signs of who is doing this so it's two people there's two people on the seven of swords card it's an Aquarius and an Aries okay that's who's doing this to you all right so let me see Let's get some more energy on. Them. We know they're in Seven of Swords energy, but let's see. Let's get, what's the energy of this Aquarius that's trying to attack my Saggies by jumping bodies? 
to people's saggy nose. Sending out very negative energy. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. <laughs> well, Three of Cups. Let me see. Yeah, and there could be a third person in this. There could be three people doing this, but I only got two. Three of Cups. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. On the bottom is your energy. Okay. Eight of Swords. This is what that this is how they want to see you. This woman on here is sleeping. She's in her head. She's in her thoughts. They are trying to play, you know, mind tricks on you, whatever. It is magic, but they're playing mind, trying to play mind games, trying to make you feel trapped, trying to make you feel like that you're going crazy. All right. Yeah. And yeah, damn. It's because of some kind of gift you have, Ace of Pentacles. All right. Maybe they want your gift or they want to know they want to know the source of your power. All right. What's the energy of this Aries person? It's like two people doing it. There could be three. Okay, Aries. Who's this Aries? What's their energy? Towards my Saggy. What are they trying to do? Two of Swords. Oh, okay. Hmm. This woman is looking back at something. This is all sword energy. They want to block you. Possibly from this Aquarius. Something like that. I'm not sure what that is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Your energy on the bottom is Knight of Pentacles. And this Knight of Pentacles is quite different in this deck. This is you with your sickle, Saggy. You're watching... You're keeping an eye. You're keeping an eye on these people. You know who they are, possibly. You're keeping an eye out. And you've blocked them. Two of Swords could mean they're pissed because you've blocked them. This Aries. Look. The Knight of Pentacles. This person is on guard. They're not making any moves. They're watching. They're, they're staying stable. And with that sickle, they'll use that sickle anybody that comes near them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, let's move this. Let's get this deck. This is my scary. This is a spooky deck, okay? We're going to use it. Okay. What is the objective of these two, these two people trying to, they're jumping bodies to get to, to trigger you through people that you know? Okay, um, why are they doing this? I mean, why? Why are they doing it? Why are they having murderous thoughts? Why are they in the Seven of Swords energy? Why are they, what is going on? Why are they doing this to my Sagittarius? 
collective. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this to my sag? This Aries and Aquarius, why are they doing this? Five of Swords. Okay. Well, we know what Five of Swords means. Victory at any cost. To win at all costs. Um, maybe if there's some people you've been dealing with, maybe you one up them and now they're trying to one up you. These people have been attacking you for a while now. Okay, it's not just these people, it's some, it's the other video I did about that. That could be, um, they could be, they could be the same ones that's doing this. Five of Swords, they want to win at all costs, they want to take you down. They're trying to like get you in some kind of trouble where you'll lose your temper and go off on somebody. All right, murderous thoughts, they might even want to unalive you. I don't know, I'm not trying to say that they are, but that's what it's looking like. Victory at all costs. Um, I'm thinking this can mean humiliation. They're trying to humiliate you so you'll get in trouble. You'll fight with people. You might even they might even want you to go to jail. They, anything, anything to make you to humiliate you, especially in public. Okay, kind of what I'm seeing with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Five of Wands. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, here's the Five of Wands. These roses on here, these black roses are wands in this deck. Five of Wands and Five of Swords. So, like I said, with the Three of Cups here, um, there could be more than two people. Five of Wands, Five of Swords is a group of people. This group of people, they're competing with you. They, they feel the need to compete with you. Maybe um, you block them with the Two of Swords. Maybe they want your, they're trying to steal your gift. I don't know. But you're like this Knight of Pentacles here. You are keeping, you are on guard. Okay? Any, any smell, any, any inkling of instability, you're going to automatically reject it. Any bad vibes, anything like that, okay? Um, Saggy, I'm just telling you for to be really careful. All right. Okay. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. It's a group of people. So they could be this Aries and Aquarius could be the head of a group or something. Maybe this was people you were involved with, whether personal or online, it doesn't matter. But they want to, looks like to me, they want to unalive you. Why are they mad at you? Why are these people mad at you? Why have they decided to gang up on you? Why are these people, why have these people tried to gang up on you, Saggy? Why are these people ganging up on you? Why are they ganging up on my Saggies? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Why are they doing this? Why are they ganging up on my Saggy? Why are they trying to... Why are they doing this? Oh, something flipped. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles. Okay. All right, and... Clarify the Six of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. Hmm. Not a lot of swords. Jeez. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, that's, that's the name of this deck. The 1977 Alchemy Alchemy England. That wasn't supposed to be in there. It's just the the, the um, card that tells what the deck is. What are they trying to do? 
Six of Pentacles could mean something with your money, too. And I got Ace of Pentacles. They may want to. That's so strange. Okay, we need to know more information. Why are they doing this to my Saggy? Why are they doing this? This Aries and Aquarius. Why are they jumping bodies to get to people around you? No, so you will to humiliate. Why do they want to humiliate and harass you? Nine of Swords means they, they would want, they want to, for you to be, ha, they want you to have anxiety. They want you to be scared. It could be just to scare you, just to keep you, so you won't, you know, use your gifts to try to get you to quit doing whatever it is you're doing, to stop your money. It looks like maybe to stop your money. Why are they doing this? We need some more information. Thank you. We have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? A lot of pentacles in here. Mm hmm And the Empress. Ooh, the Empress and the King of Swords, okay? And the Queen of Swords. The King and Queen of Swords. <laughs> okay. We got a couple in here. But that's really not the way I'm seeing it, okay? All right, you're coming up as eight of, you got, they're your pentacles. All right, it's, it's people that you worked with or something. You're coming up as an empress. They don't like that, okay? And this Aries and Aquarius could be the king and queen of swords. <laughs> or it could mean that with this king of swords, you know something about them. You know something about these people. They probably practice a lot of dark magic or they do dark things. However you want to word that, yeah. You know the truth. You know something about these people. And they don't want, they're afraid you're going to tell somebody. You know a secret about these people, and they're afraid you're going to say something, okay? That's what it is. That's why they're trying to keep you scared in fear, so you'll be quiet, so you'll shut up and not say anything, you know? Yeah. Or this king and queen of swords could be somebody that they know and that you know and you guys had some kind of difficulty and they're mad. They're they're pissed off about that. I don't know. But these king and queen of swords to me could also be business people, people you work with. But I'm still saying with that empress and that king of swords can mean that you know something about this these people that they do not want said. You know, they're dark secrets. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. That's right. And this Empress and this Queen of Swords could be you. Look at this. You got the Raven here. This could be the energy you're in, Saggy. You could have cut them off because you found out some truth about these people. I think that's what it is. All right. See the bird, the raven. You could be like uh, Native American. You could get messages from birds, animals. You could talk to the birds. Not kidding. All right. Mm hmm. Yeah. And on the bottom of the deck is, yeah, we got the Queen of Wands and the Moon and the Three of Wands. Okay. So the Queen of Wands and the Moon is these people's energy. This Aquarius and this Aries. Yes, yeah, definitely some magic involved. We know that, okay? Then we have the Three of Wands, which is astral projection. Mm hmm It's odd. There's an angel here. Okay? All right. There's an angel here in this card. All right? While they're doing this, they could be 
Sag, you could have an angel protecting you from this, protecting you from harm. All right? So don't worry about it. This is you right here. This is your energy. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. The Seven of Cups. Yeah. They're trying to... It's more. It's like illusion magic, too. It's because they're trying... The Seven of Cups can be illusion magic. And I noticed there's blood in these cups. It's red. It's not wine. It's blood. They could be... They could also practice some type of blood magic. Weirdos. Uh, Seven of Cups is to, in, in this deck, for me... They could have been trying to attack you over and over, okay? But Seven of Cups is illusion magic, you know, to me in this spooky deck I'm using here. And they could practice blood magic. They're just these people are 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 definitely not somebody you want to deal with. You could have cut them off and now they're mad. You cut them off because maybe you found out they were witches or warlocks or whatever, okay? But while they're astral projecting, you have this little angel here watching you. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. We also have the tower and the devil. Yeah. They want to keep you trapped. They want to cause you to have a tower. And it's odd. Maybe because maybe you know these people. You were in some kind of group with them or something. And you cut them off. Um, maybe the people wanted you in their group or something. and And they know you know something about them. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, we got an ending here. Mm-hmm. We've got the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. You know, it's weird. Look at this. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, okay? This woman here is running down the steps, okay? Running down these stairs, okay? That could be you, too. Maybe you're, I mean, maybe they want to make you this way. They want to trick you and lose you. So you'll go running to them for help. I don't know. That's, an, that's just another, but we got a, the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. 99. This is the end of this, and they know it. This is the end. You have this angel protecting you over here. This card right here. See? Even while they're astral projecting, you're protected. All right? You could get messages through animals, birds in particular. All right? 99. Nine of wands and nine of cups. Okay, that's a 99. Now, why in the hell is a nine of cups here? Nine of Cups means that I'm getting, this is the end of this cycle. This is the end, okay? Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands. You're going to fight your way through it. You're going to make it, and you're going to be happy. You're going to get wish fulfillment, whether they like it or not. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's it. 99. It's going to end. If these people don't stop, they're going to end. Because you're like this Knight of Pentacles. You're watching over here. Anyway, this is all I really want to say about it. Okay? You'll know if this reading is for you. These people are not wrapped too tight or they're high-level magicians. One of the two. One of the two. Okay? So just be careful. When you go out somewhere... If you feel somebody projecting to you negative energy, I gave you an example. If you have a somebody that you're normally okay with and you feel bad energy coming off of them at you, then this these people doing this. 
They're trying to get you to trigger you so they can take control of you. But we have 99 means it's over, baby. So please protect yourself. Like I said, protect your, a spiritual protection. Um, you can burn sage, palo santo, frankincense, and myrrh. You can get incense. You can get frankincense and myrrh incense. This is what I buy. I buy it at, Hob at Hobby Lobby. It's like 99 cents. Frankincense and myrrh incense. Burn it both together. All right. Cleanse your house. Pray. Uh, there's a lot of good spiritual warfare prayers um, online in the Bible, um, different things like that. Ever what you, whatever you do for protection, um, you could listen to um, meditation music. Make sure that you're exercising. Make sure you're eating right, drinking a lot of water. You know, just stay prayed up. And because these people are not, you have an angel watching over you. You do. I see her right here. All right. And you're also very watchful. So just don't worry about it. 99 means this shit is coming to an end, no matter what they want to do to you. All right. You know something on them. They don't like it. They don't like your gift. They don't like the fact that you have, that you, you're able to see them. Maybe other people can't see through them like you can. All right, but it's about the end, 99, nine of, nine of wands and nine of cups. All right, fight the good fight and don't worry about it. I'm just letting you know, giving you a heads up, okay? Saggy, I love you and protect yourself. I'll see you in my next video. God bless.